So what's going on guys? We've just seen Josh Taylor win a very, very tough fight against Ivan Barantic. Now, what a fight, what a fight. Um, pfft, both of them putting it on the line. Um, Taylor was in the fight of his life against Ivan Brancic. What a fight. Um, you know, the fight was very, very close. And then in the fifth round, I think it was a double, it was about triple knockdown. He got knocked down three times, you know, a beautiful right hook by Taylor that put Baranchik down. And then after that, it looked like Baranchik was about to go. And the bell really did save Baranchik because I think Taylor was on the verge of knocking him out. And then, and then, you know, Baranchik survived. And then after that, you know, Taylor started taking more control of the fight. And he was probably the deserved winner in the end. What a performance by Josh Taylor. What a special talent. What do you make of it? I think he boxed at times bad. But I personally feel that he's shown in that fight today that he can box and brawl. Um, he literally stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with, a bot with a fighter. And he didn't get dropped once in that fight. Although he was wobbled a couple of times. But I just think he's a talent like... He, it just goes to show he can do everything. He can box, fight, and he had him down as well a couple of times. And I think that was that. That's what won him the fight in the end. Because if I, I personally feel, if he didn't get those two knockdowns, he wouldn't have won the next two, three rounds after the yeah, yeah. Because it did look like Brancic was getting the exactly. momentum. So yeah, like yeah. That, that, so personally, I think those two knockdowns have won him the fight. Um, but. Do you think that had a big psychological impact on the other guy when he knocked him down? The momentum kind of changed exactly, in the fight. Exactly, and he knocked him down twice as well. So three he, times. Three times. I think he went down three times. No, it was two twice. Twice, twice. When you, when you knock someone out twice, knock them, someone down twice, is most likely you will win the fight. Um, because that's like literally two, two rounds that you just won, basically. Yeah, but I don't think it's it's that. I just think the fact that this is a momentum shift, like you said, I think the psychological... I don't think the guy... Because the guy came on strong after that as well, but I think yeah. Taylor then knew that he can but hurt the thing him. is, I don't think the guy had enough to to knock Taylor out. I just think yeah. Taylor was too tough. And yeah. What do you make of his toughness? What do you make of his toughness? Both of them were really tough, but I just think Taylor was tougher. Mm. I just think Taylor wanted it more. Um, and I don't think the guy... That guy just wasn't good, just good, wasn't good enough to beat Taylor. Um, I just think Taylor was a bit better than him in the end. But Taylor goes to show, I don't think many people will beat him in that division because that fight, I think the winner of that fight, I even said to you that the winner of this fight will win the whole thing. I don't think Reese Progress will beat Josh Taylor personally. I've not even seen him, but I don't think, I've never I heard of him. I think guy. he's more skillful than this guy. He's more skillful and he's a lot more talented. Um, and but I just don't think he has that same, you have to have that same chin, you have to have that same heart that, I've never heard of this Reese Progies, but I personally think Josh Taylor will be going into that fight the favourite to win the whole boxing super series. I don't know about that. That guy's good as well. Taylor's good. Don't get me wrong. Taylor's special. Uh, I think Taylor's one of the standout British fighters that we've got right now. I think he could. He's that good. I think he. I think he may even be better than Joshua. Um, I think. I think. I think this guy could go a long, long way in the sport. He's not really from the UK though, is he? Yeah, but he's from the United Kingdom. Yeah, you, he's not from England, but he's from the UK for sure. He's from the United Kingdom. You know, Scotland is part of the United Kingdom. Um, it's part of Britain. So, yeah. So, listen, I, I just think Josh Taylor is a hot, hot talent. You know, a special fighter. And, and what he showed today with his toughness was unbelievable. Um, I did made a video that I feel that Josh Taylor is not just going to be a, a light welterweight, but he's going to move up to welterweight. And he's going to challenge all the... I think he's got the kind of talent to give guys like Porter, Thurman, Spence fights as well. He's that good. Um, don't get me wrong though they are, they are obviously very very tough fights uh, fights that you would say I don't think there's anyone in the 100 I think he's really small man I think Josh Taylor is very small yeah I don't think he's that I don't think he's that big I, I don't I think he looks small in that I think today. he's a big I think he's a big welterweight I don't think he beats the top like welterweight well well to well to I think there's levels man now. and I personally think those guys hit a lot harder than this guy man mm. those guys if they hit him I think he'll go, man. Like in this fight, if he was getting if Errol, okay, if Errol Spence v Josh Taylor in the I think future, Errol Spence would beat him. Errol Spence is a very good boxer and he can punch. He's not going to beat Errol Crawford. Spence. No chance, mate. Crawford would destroy Josh Taylor, man. 
Yeah, to be honest, no those way, guys, man. those guys are on another level. Josh Taylor will have to improve, of course, which I believe he will. But yeah, certainly he has no chance against Crawford. Crawford man. is <laughs> them guys are. Crawford they're exceptional talents. Level, That's man. what I'm saying. Destroy but Josh the problem Taylor, is that 140 pound division, the 140 pound division, right? There isn't really anyone that, that let's stand think, out. Let's think about it need to move up to Jeff Crawford. Horn fought Josh Taylor. Jeff Horn wouldn't be able. Uh, Josh Taylor wouldn't be able to punish Jeff Horn out. Crawford did no chance. Yeah, no of course, way. man. That's a tough. Thing is, okay, I just, don't even. I think Jeff Horn against Josh Taylor would be a good listen. Fight. Forget that. Danny Garcia, who you would say would lose to Crawford and Spence. Yeah. Probably beat not, yeah, yeah, no, not Taylor, spark, you know. So spark, what I'm like saying that, is that in the welterweight division, even guys like Ugas, guys like that, are very tough. So I think Ugas beat Ugas, massive. Yeah, yeah. Eat Josh Taylor, man. The welterweight division is very tough. No, but first, let's win, man. The, no. the, the, let's let's talk about the light welterweight division. Hopefully, he can win that, and he might prove himself the best. But once, if he is to beat um, progress, uh, yeah, in the final, then. He, he and he wins everything and becomes the number one. He might then move up to welterweight, but the problem is with the welterweight division, who's he gonna fight? Because the welterweight division, there's all full of killers. It's the best, hardest division in boxing, um, and I think Taylor will eventually move up to welterweight, and I think that's when you're gonna see him and see how good his talent is. Because in the welterweight division, man, there's some serious killers, and I really want to see him up there because I don't think 140 pound division is is that great. It's got some good fighters in there, but I think really, if you want to make a name for yourself, you're going to have to move to welterweight because that's where all the killers belong. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think of Josh Taylor's performance. How did you see it today? Did, did you think, did you rate his performance? Uh, do you think there was improvement? Do you think he got hit a bit too much? Uh, nevertheless, a great fighter Taylor is. And leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And let me know what you think of, of, of Josh Taylor as a talent. He's obviously world champion now and the new he said it a couple of times of the fight, but yes, guys, Josh Taylor is the new champion of the world. Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.